Morning, guys. We have Pam coming over this morning on her Kawasaki W650. So it'll be great to see her and uh, hear about her bike. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Very nice to see you. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this thing on. The... Alright. There we go. There we go. That's a nice looking bike. Thank you. Let me take my helmet off sure, so I can sure. hear you. Sure, of course. Well, thank you so much, Pam, for coming over. It's very nice to see you again. Thank you. It's great to see you. I appreciate very much you giving me the opportunity to talk about my bike. And this is my first little uh, movie, if you will. <laughs> but I am really proud of this bike. I love this bike and would love to tell you about it. It's a Kawasaki W650. It's a 2000. They stopped sending this bike into the US in 2002 because Triumph started reintroducing the Bonneville, the new updated Bonneville. And so I guess Japan realized this isn't, it wasn't gonna get the kind of pickup from people. Now it's, it's like a treasure here in the United States because every time people see these, they, they wonder, what is that? You know, they, they first look at it and they think it's a Bonneville and you know, it's not. I've done some uh, customization to it. It's basically stock, but there are a few things that I've customized on it got these European classic bars that we got from England, put this on here. Um, I've put uh, Oxford heated grips on it. I had Donnie Weber make this seat for me. So it looks like the original seat, but it's super nice, really comfortable. This bike is a 650 cc. It's got about 47 horsepower. It's um, a uh, eight valve. It's bevel driven, which is unique. Something I learned about this bike is that um, the Japanese fashioned it after the BSA yeah. back in the 60s and 70s. You probably know I, that. I've heard that, <laughs> you know, the A7 or the A10. That bevel there, it's almost like reminiscent of a Ducati Scrambler, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And, you know, I have my own theories, but I wonder if um, the Japanese looked at the best parts of these European bikes and yeah. decided, okay, the bevel drive is a really nice aspect. I just think that they did certain things because it looks like a Bonneville as well, a Triumph Bonneville. The tank was a uh, pretty blue, but then it had silver and these weird little fake looking decals. So we removed those decals and um, I painted it a European Triumph style tank. Bar. I wondered about that. It, yes. I mean, it looks really nice, that color. It's Thank beautiful. You. Thank and I love, you. I love the, um, I think they call it the eyebrow style emblem, which is very reminiscent of a Bonneville, isn't it? Yes. I love that tail section and that seat is beautiful. I love Thank that you. seat with the white piping. It looks really cool. Thank you. I really, you know, I green is, a, is my favorite color. So I wanted something that's going to be green, but I also really wanted to make it look super classic. Um, Kawasaki did a great job with this bike obviously but i wanted to customize it to make it a little more unique and i think that's one of the reasons why people stop me and uh, right off and think it's a bonneville because it's not it's got front disc brakes and back drum brakes got it in 2003 okay. um, i've been riding since 2002 i started off on a um, honda saber shadow about a 1200 cc or 1100 cc bike huge kind of like riding a big Western horse um, was really huge for me. But the nice thing was I was able to get my feet on the ground and get my confidence level. And then um, I, I was a member of OVM at the time. And there was a gal by the name of Jennifer who rode this bike. So every time we would get together for OVM rides, when she was there, she would be riding this bike. And I was always coveting this bike. I thought it was really beautiful. 650 is a perfect size for me. I don't need something, you know, a thousand cc, just 
more than I need. I kept asking her, hey, if you're ever interested in selling, I would be interested in purchasing. And we looked at a couple of bikes and um, anyway, went on a vacation and came back from vacation and she said, you know what, I want to sell this bike. Oh, terrific. <laughs> terrific. Oh, that's good. So it was meant to be kind yeah. of thing. And uh, first time I got on it, I'm like, this is amazing because it's um, light. It's really uh, flickable, super easy. It, um, it has great pickup for what I need and it's got good speed at corners really nicely. You have a funny stick thing here at the side. What's that, Pam? <laughs> What's that? Are you talking about this? No, I'm talking about this here, the Kickstarter. Oh, oh. Does it work? Yes, sir, it does. And you know what? <laughs> Truly, Mike, it's come in handy. It's wonderful. It's got a starter, uh, electric start, but then it's got the Kickstarter. <laughs> this thing is fantastic. There's been a time in the past where this, I mean, I've only had two things happen on this bike. I've run out of gas once and uh, the battery uh, died on me and we had to use that Kickstarter oh, and it works great. I've got 35,000 miles when I bought it. It had like 3,000 miles on it. I've taken it to Crater Lake. I've taken it out to Spray, Oregon. I've taken it on interstate rides. It's beautiful. It really holds really up. Nice. Yeah. And I used to ride with OVM and I could keep up with those boys just fine. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't leak oil. Uh, and it's a clean bike, isn't it? It's clean. It looks lovely. You. You've got it in beautiful condition. Thank you. Well, it lives in the garage. If you just want to go out for a Sunday drive, it's wonderful. It's really fun. And if you want to take it for long distances, I've done that as well. And so it's been a great bike for me. Awesome. I'd love it. Got great around here. Yeah. Take care, Pam. Thanks a lot for coming. You're See welcome. ya. I'm going to mic you up as well, Pam. Excuse me? I'm going to mic you up as well. It's all... Uh, that's not a, a strange expression. I'm going to put a microphone you on. <laughs> I'm going to put a microphone on you as well because uh, we've had some uh, audio ups okay. and downs as well. So if you don't mind, we'll just get everything set up. Thanks very much for watching, guys. This has been another tale from the cul-de-sac. Please remember to subscribe and click the little bell and you'll get a notice whenever I release a new video, usually every Sunday morning and sometimes during the week.